AutoCAD LT 2010 provides a consolidated interface and increased flexibility for working with externally referenced files in a variety of formats, including DWG, DWF, DGN, PDF, and image files. The reference panel on the Insert tab of the ribbon provides tools for attaching or modifying externally referenced files. Attach brings up a dialog which you can use to select any supported file type to attach or underlay into the drawing. For example, I can select a PDF file and underlay it in my drawing file. If I only need to see a portion of the file, I can use the Clip tool to hide the portions I don't want. An extra grip on the clipping boundary lets me invert the clipped area, hiding the part inside the boundary instead of outside. Notice that when I selected the PDF underlay, a contextual tab appeared on the ribbon. While this one shows me tools that are specific to working with PDF files, a similar tab is available for all the other reference types too, such as DWF or images. Here, you'll find tools to adjust the contrast and fading, edit or remove the clipping boundary, and enabling snap for the PDF geometry. I'll press escape to go back to the main ribbon and click on the reference panel name to display additional tools. Here is yet another tool new to AutoCAD LT, Edit Reference, also known as Ref Edit or In Place Editing. This command enables you to directly edit the geometry in a referenced DWG file or block reference while still being able to see the surrounding geometry. Related to Edit Reference is Open Reference, which enables you to open any referenced file with just a click of the mouse. Simply go to the External References palette, right-click on the file you want, and select Open. AutoCAD LT will determine the reference type and use the appropriate program to open the file. If the reference is a DWG file, you can also find the Open Reference command on its Contextual Ribbon tab or in the right-click menu.